In this video, I want to talk about your pencil bins. So here's a picture of how your pencil bins should be stored up against the wall. You notice that your table number is in red and you also have a table number pencil bin on the box. So this is how they should be stored. If you're in charge of getting your pencil bin and bringing it back to your table, then in your pencil bin, you should always have at least four pencils and you should have four erasers. The problem that's been happening recently is that students are not putting erasers back or people are taking erasers out of the room. Basically, they're stealing them. And I just can't continue to afford to keep buying erasers. So I ask that you please make sure that your erasers, when you go to put these back, that you have at least four pencils and you have four erasers in your pencil bin. The other thing I want to talk about is if your pencil is looks like this and you can see lead at the tip of your pencil, then your pencil will work. It is only when you have used your pencil to a point where there is no lead left showing. So such as this one, you can see if I turn this, you can see that I can't really see any lead on that side. Now I can see lead on this side, but if you go to use your pencil and your pencil's not really working very well, then you can come up and see me. I have a container for dull pencils, which I will put that in, and then I will hand you a sharper pencil from the sharper container. You are not going to use these sharpeners to sharpen your pencils. These sharpeners are for colored pencils only, okay? The reason I have these sharpeners for colored pencils is because the electric sharpener that I have will not work, it'll jam when you use colored pencils. Um, and then I have a system, as you know, for the regular pencil. So if your pencil, you see that there's no lead on there, then you can come up and get a new one. The other thing that I'm noticing is I'm seeing students that are intentionally, that means on purpose, snapping off the lead just to come get a sharp pencil. I do not want to see that. Now obviously if an accident happens, that's different, but I don't want to see people, you know, pushing the lead out and snapping the top just to get a new pencil because that is not going to be okay. So when you're done, again, with using your pencil bin at your station, you should make sure you have at least four pencils inside and four erasers. This will then get put back up where it belongs underneath your table number and lined up.